Okay, we're, we're covering some basics here where we're looking at the E-box, okay, and we're seeing that the E-pentatonic, we're not going to, we don't want to know about the E-diatonic now because we're using E as the fifth, <clears throat> and you can use the, the uh, <clears throat> pentatonic on the fourth and the fifth if you're in the root key. So in the root key, you can use the the diatonic but the pentatonic for the fourth which is D shape of, of the A box okay here's your A here's your D and here's your E you do the E pentatonic and of course you could do the triads too if you can do it pentatonically you can do the triads too but we'll get to that so here, E, we're going to start in root, and we're going to substitute it as the fifth in the A cage. So it, instead of looking at A as 5, 6, 5, 6, root 2, 3, 5, 6, root 2, 3, 5, 6, okay, which is just an inversion of the pentatonic scale, we're going to start and imagine that we're playing that E now we're going to go root 2, 3, 5, 6, root 2, 3, 5, 6, root 2. Okay, and it's important to understand that we can make that substitution and actually change these numbers in our head as we're playing it. So we don't have to map out every one of those particular cases. Okay, we just overlay the E pentatonic now not the E diatonic because that it won't fit it'll become the key of E it won't be the fifth anymore it won't be a mixolydian chord anymore it will be it will be a major you know it'll be the key of, of G major the fifth major so when we're substituting the pentatonic or the the tritonic you know with the, uh, so if you wanted to play the tritonic E there, um, you know, E would be, we would want to look, look down here a little bit, you know, to make it a little easier for teaching purposes. So here's the tritonic E substitution. So this is certainly the E cage, and we can play the, I haven't filled this in yet, but, um, you know, for the pentatonic, it would be five, six, like that five six root two okay but that that's not an e shape okay so for e remember we're going to be starting on root there we're going to play that e shape now i haven't i haven't completed this part of the chart if we look over here say in the g cage the fourth of g is c right so the the c pentatonic is going to be here three five six root two, three, five, six, root two, three, five. Notice I've put a C there for the C-shaped pentatonics. Okay, now there should be uh, there should be an E-shape there, but in the G box, I guess everything's going to be G. In the uh, E being the diminished fourth of the G box, we're going to add the E notes there too. So let's look back over here where we were. And uh, so we can do it for uh, tritonics. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, so here we're looking at a G shape. So the tritonic, we'd have that, that G shape chord. 5, 7, 2, 5, 7, 2, 5. Okay, just like that. Whereas the the original C cage which is columnized here I could have I could have scrolled up it would have kept it simpler you know that G cage is down here okay so this is the fifth it's the C shape okay so if we want to play that fifth we're going to play uh, the first of all the black notes in this case are the play notes so we're going to play and, and we're going to add the colored notes for the C cage so our pentatonic will be three, five, six, root, two, three, five, six, root, two, 
3.5. So it's a C-shaped pentatonic. Now, the tritonic, okay, is going to be um, 5.72. But in the C box, the tritonic fifth, okay, so the tritonic fifth is going to be 5.72, 5.725. Right there, it's already done for us. So you can see how it gets a little complicated fast if you try to delve into it too fast because the entire theory has to be kind of caught all at once. Either you get it or you don't, but you don't have to um, never get it. You just try it again, string it together. Can it be explained? Because if you can explain it to yourself, you can play it you know it has to make sense while you're playing so you know we don't want to get too deep while we're playing sometimes you just want to keep it simple and you'll find that as you're struggling with one level of correlating the the uh, shapes and the modes you'll find something else will become really easy like hey well now the diatonics really easy now that I'm trying to struggle with the uh, now that I'm trying to struggle with the with the pentatonics and the, and the triads, you know, so um, we don't want to struggle too much. So here's, I just wanted to show you. This is the um, the half diminished here, and I got this new half diminished. Okay, and it's actually done. I'm going to remove Mr. Capo here so I can get to these notes easier. What I'm doing is we're going to play a seventh half diminished, B half diminished, but we're going to use as the parent shape the Dorian, but the Dorian we're using is not going to be two, four, five, six root. It's going to be more of a pure Dorian, which is two, three, four, six, seven. So this is this is a really spongy uh, Dorian here. Okay, we're not going to use that for our Dorian when we're playing Dorian with the parent of F. When we play Dorian pentatonic, you've heard of say A minor pentatonic. You hear a lot about that, and really it's just uh, A, C, D, E, G, or six root two three five. Okay, but if we were to take that and just count six, seven, root three, four, it would sound like that, which is cool. And we could do a study on how to do all that, and then we could, but we could use, of course, the uh, the Dorian, and then the. But just for, just for the half diminished okay seven two four be half diminished all right we're going to use the um the pure the pure local counting uh scale for the dorian d e f which is a minor third a b so that's what i got here all right, in this particular case, it starts on the three there. If we wanted to actually start it on the D, I suppose the D shape wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a bad place to look. So I filled these in to do it on the D shape. <clears throat> so I can get that down here and we'll have two, three, four, six, seven, two, then three, four, then warp up six, seven, then two, three, four. As a, this is as a D-shaped pentatonic, a half diminished pentatonic. So the way it works out, and this is going to take us to our, our next chart, okay? So we're going to go to the other chart for a moment. And this is the new chart here, okay, and we're getting, uh, we're going to start uh, in a couple of seconds, chart 246, diatonic, tried, pentatonic, 